Dante. Dante. What, what are you doing? Why are you? Really? Apple pie and Mountain Dew? Really? Buddy. Uh, uh, buddy. Why do I carry my underwear? <laughs> buddy. Huh? Buddy. What day? Do you know what day it is? Um. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Ow. Wake up. Why'd Talk. you slap me? It's from backlash from the last couple episodes. Oh, okay. Are you alright? What? You alright? Yeah, I was asleep. Yeah, why were you asleep? Uh, I like you. It's bedtime. No, you slept. And it's not bedtime. How long have I been sleeping? A Come long on. while. Oh. Because well, cause it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday? Mm hmm. What but, does that mean? You know what that means? Uh, Comic Book Mania! Comic Book Mania! What? Hey guys, we're Hi. back for another week. I was asleep. He was asleep. Um, I had to I, wake him up. Yes. I have to move myself. Move up. forward. Ah, you don't I take two so, steps back. I feel so far away from you. look like you got taller. Mm -mm. No? Just regular size? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Alright, well. <laughs> so we're just going to jump into... Comic book news. Comic book news. Something, something, something. Alright, so we're just, we're just going to go through the news that's happened in the last week. Yes. Um, no new news on the... Uh, that, that's our thing to say three times fast, but whatever. No new news? Okay, you said it perfectly, but whatever. On the whole Marvel suing Google so far. Uh, nothing on that? Else. Yep, no, nothing else yet. Um, so, first news that's coming out of the Gotham universe is Flying Graysons are coming to Gotham. Yes. Which means Robin's going to be little baby Robin. He can't be. He is. He can't be baby. It can just be, it can be their his parents. And they had a kid. Not yet. Because Batman's only a kid himself. He's about 12, 13. And Robin, when he meets him, is 12, 13. Yeah, so that means when he becomes, like, in his 20s... No, Batman was about 30 songs. Well, give or take, whatever. Fifth, okay, he becomes... Okay, whatever. But I think they're going to be baby Robin. They can't. It's gonna I be just like, want to see it's that. It's going to be like the Dark Knight Rises, where... <laughs> hey, Robin. Okay, let's look at the camera. All right, so yeah, Lion Grayson's are coming to Gotham. Right. Aunt May movie without Spider-Man. Yes, if you want excitement... We with... did an Aunt May movie without Spider-Man. No, no, if you want excitement... With all the boring stuff with Peter Parker and, <laughs> ugh, so much time consumption. No, that is too much. No! We can just watch an Aunt May movie. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> They're not going to bring in Sally Fields, by the way, though. No. From, yeah. Oh, well, no, I'm not going to say it. Uh, but that's, that's the breaking point right there. Dude, Sally Field's amazing. She, is, she was great. Um, Fantastic Four reboot more realistic than other superhero movies. Also so, adding into that is they might not have powers. Yeah, so you remember your favorite <laughs> Fantastic Fours? Like, Mr. Fantastic. There's Invisible only... Woman. Uh, ben Grime, a.k.a. The Thing. And the Human Torch? Yes. Well, now it's just going to be Johnny Storm. <laughs> ben Grime. Boring Ben Grime. Uh, oh, my God, I just drew a blank on what her name is. Sue. Susan Storm. Sue St yeah, there you go. <laughs> and Reed Richards. Yes. Who is Stretchable. <laughs> And Doctor Doom is a computer nerd. Yep, he's a computer hacker. Apparently, that's where they're going. I don't agree with it. I'm not gonna comment anymore. Oh, we'll still be there though. We'll still be in the theater watching oh, the movie, yes, watching the train wreck. Um, X Men Apocalypse to focus on Mystique and Magneto romance. Boop, boop. <laughs> nope, it's more like ah. Eh. She can change. She can change. You're right. Maybe she, she'll change. Maybe into he's a, into that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she'll is. change into Xavier. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that relationship all those needs, fan fictions out there. That, that relationship needs a little more going on there. She'll be a wheelchair Xavier, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can move it. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get off of that. Um, <laughs> no, I just I was thinking Xavier moves him, but now that it, <laughs> no, it's making me. <laughs> all right, so General Icing, Icing, the car the guy that plays General Icing on Flash. Uh, does not want to become the beast. I don't think his name's Icing. Eiling, I I or whatever. Yeah, yeah. General Eiling, not Iling. Icing. Ice I don't have Icing, I have Eiling, whatever. I S S I L N J. Jai. Um, does not want to become the beast he is in the comics. Yes, for the people that know General Eiling in the comics, you make me, you're making icing. me say Icing <laughs> in the comics. Um, he was premiered in The Flash, which we're going to talk about. But, um, shadowing. <laughs> yes, but he does not want to be this giant beast monster that it becomes. He wants to keep it realistic when we yeah. have the fastest man on the planet, or the world, the universe, in the, uh, in the comic. Fastest in the... man in the world. Is it fastest man in the world? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Spectre will be in or Constantine. No, the fastest man alive. Yeah. Spectre will be in Constantine. I didn't even know that. I know, I was going to surprise you Wow, with that. that's yeah. a very surprise. Mm -hmm. I like that. Next they'll bring in Deadman. <laughs> I, I hope That'd so. That'd be great. I want Swap Thing to come in. 
Because they, they're talking about they're bringing him in later in the series. So. That'd be a good one. Yeah, I, that's one of the biggest plot lines of Constantine yeah. in the comic books. That's why I want, I'm looking forward to that. Mc, uh, Michelle McLaurin, who did uh, who directed episodes of uh, Breaking Bad and Game oh, yeah. of Thrones. Um, and Walking Dead. And Walking Dead. She has been offered the role to direct uh, the Wonder Woman movie, which I think is fantastic. Yeah. She shot a lot of good episodes for that. Um, Jai Courtney from... Bruce, not Bruce Willis. Um, from, from Bruce Willis. Well, he played in the movie with Bruce Willis, Die Hard 5, which was terrible. He's a son, and he played in Divergent. Oh, okay. I, 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 He's I, I, up for Deadshot, also in The Running from last week. We found out John Berthold's also in there. Yes. And Will Smith is up for Captain Boomerang. In the Su- Suicide Squad movie? Suicide Squad movie, yes. yes. So if you wanted to see Will Smith in an Australian accent... <laughs> He's not going to have an Australian accent. Mark my words. Poor, Mark my words. Uh, send an email to DC Universe <laughs> and tell them... We want Will Smith to have... A, we I want Will say, Smith to be Captain Boomerang. There we go. Um, so, we we weren't on the air with this show when this news was reported the first time, but um, Rob Downey Jr. said the only guy he wanted to direct Iron Man 4 would be Mel Gibson. And Mel Gibson... And Mel Gibson has confirmed that he might do it. So that's He's good. confirmed that he might do it. <laughs> he's like, if, if, if the price is good, because you now he's... He's against the Jews. Yeah. But whatever. Whoa! <laughs> He's against all of Hollywood? Yeah, basically. Zinger! <laughs> I don't think that's a zinger. No. I I, we're going to get the show turned off the yeah, air we're now. we're in now. Um, and then in, in more Flash news, <laughs> we have Rainbow Raider and Captain Boomerang will be the villains for the Flash and Arrow crossover. Quite personally, um, when I heard this news, I thought it said Rainbow Rider. Yeah. And I got very excited. It might excited. be Rider, but I don't. it said Raider in the thing. I think it should, it would just be cooler to have the Rainbow Rider. <laughs> I think it's going to be yeah! great. I cannot wait to see Captain Boomerang on screen. Oh, yeah. It's going to be amazing. Um, in Captain America 3 news, we have Crossbones from the second one and the first one. Was he in the first one? Second. Second one. He played he one. In the elevator scene? Yeah, he played, uh, which was awesome. Um, will be the main villain, will reportedly be the main villain in Captain America 3. Okay. So I guess him and Tony will kind of like team up, wanting to kind of... I don't know. I don't know how they're going with this. Um, Then we go into Guardians of the Galaxy 2 news. James Gunn has stated Guardians of the Galaxy 2 will not set up Avengers 3. I think he's just blowing smoke. I think it will. I think they're going to have the team up in the Avengers. Well, no, because you know James Gunn. If he wants to say a spoiler, he's going to say a spoiler. That's true. But Gamora it wants Thanos dead. That's why I'm just like, she's going to have to stop. Maybe not in the first Avengers movie. Maybe well, no, it's part if, two. Yeah. They'll do four. Yeah. So, yeah, that's great. And then... um. Spider-Man has been announced as the most profitable superhero in the entire world. That's not shocking. That's at all. not. I thought Batman might have. It's but he's not a, even he's close. A, he's a set. He's in second. Which. But it's not even close. Spider-Man is a very profitable hero. You got to think the countless video games, yeah. products with just his face on it. Kids love Spider-Man. 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 <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> and then our last news of the week: Jason Statham has been confirmed not to be playing Negan in The Walking Dead. In the show. For the Walking Dead fans out there. Yeah, we only have one piece of news for you, sorry. Well, no, 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 it's not just that. <laughs> there you go, there's the burp for the episode. There we go. Um, for the fans out there that would have liked to have seen that, quite personally, I don't. I want to see Steven Seagal. Yes. <laughs> yes. He can fight, he can kind of act, but we'll go more fighting. <laughs> he can be a police officer once. Mm-hmm. Once, that's it. So yeah, that's our Marvel and DC slash everything else news of the week. Comic, comic book news. news. Yeah. So thank you guys. And now this is the part where I tell you. This is the part where you get the hell out if of here. If you don't want to, if you haven't watched any of the shows of last week, get out now and like this video. Give it a comment. Whatever you like. Whatever yeah, you like. just say something in the comments. Subscribe comment. to our channel because we're at 35 subscribers. We want more. Oh, oh. We're very proud of that fact, by the way. I texted him every time we get more subscribers. I text him yeah. and he... He's very happy. Didn't we get 33 or 34 in one day? You texted me 33 Two subscribers, 34. yep. Mm-hmm. And it was um, great. But thank you for watching. And we will see you guys next week for more Marvel, DC, and comic book news. All right, so Let's see ya. Let's talk about shows. So, this week we have... Gotham first. Gotham. Go- I don't remember the episode. <laughs> a break we took, guys. Sorry about I that. I couldn't sit. I yeah, we, sit. Had, we had to fix his seat. Um, But, yeah, no, we... Yeah. We literally made a mental fart on Gotham last week. We kind of forgot about it. But yes. But well, I remember now. Black so Mask was introduced, or his father. His father, Black Mask, who also wears a black mask. Yes. Who would have guessed? <laughs> well, that's where he's going to get it from. It's, ba- black mask. it's literally just like, we're going to bring in Black Mask later in the series. Or it could just be that the fact that he's surrounded by masks his whole life. Did so he make, Did he make the Kabuki mask um, joke last week for oh, Big Hero 6? For the people that saw the trailer for <laughs> Big Hero 6... 
the one guy, um, they were talking about, they went to the police station and they were talking about it, and I made the joke from the commercial, <laughs> and when the police officer goes, so there was a guy in a kabuki mask. mask. Which, for a future video, maybe, but we'll probably review, um, Big Hero 6 on the channel. When we Whenever see we it. see it. Yeah, we'll review yeah, it. We, we won't it be late. <laughs> it's been out for like three weeks, but whatever, we'll see. Okay, so, <laughs> Pi, get out of here. <laughs> um, so... Jim is by himself. No cop is helping him in the entire episode. Well, at the beginning. Just Bullock is, and, and the... the op no, just Bullock. Oh, yeah, Bullock, the, 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 the captain doesn't even help him in the beginning. But, um... Bullock I gives mean, a great speech yes. to the cops. And then, because he needed help, because, um, Gordon was abducted. Yeah. And he needed help finding where he was, so he knew, oh, well, he's got to be on his list. Basically, Gordon is so, looking for... Pol <laughs> what was his last... Polanski or something like that? The, uh, who plays Romani? Black, Romani. No, that's the that's the original Black Mask. The yeah, father. The father has the same last name. Romani. Excuse no, me, I'm Rupert now. Um, Ramoni. Whatever. Uh, just you'll tell us in the comments below because you always do. Um, so he's. They find out that people are getting killed, trying to fight for this company. To well, get they learned that people were getting beat up. Yeah. Like because they're seeing all these bruises and whatnot. So then um, they talk to Black Mask and he's like. Oh, well, I mean, you gotta fight for your position yeah. here. So Gordon gets abducted, and he has well, to... Well, no, he doesn't get abducted. Well, he goes to find what's going on in this building. Yeah, okay, and he goes to the building. Then he, then he gets abducted, and then... So three guys are about to kill Gordon. Well, Black Mass says, whoever kills this man gets the job. And, I... and Jim starts talking, he's like, alright guys, you don't have to do this. And then Black Mass comes on the speaker and goes... And a million dollars. Signing bonus, yeah. And he hangs up, and they're like, oh, well, so, there's... So there's this... Me and Dante just started laughing after this part happened. Um, he's about... He, Black Mass comes out after Gordon defeats the three he of them. He beats them all. Yeah, and Black Mass is like, all right, I guess I'll make my money. And then Dante asks me a question. He's like, if Gordon <laughs> kills Black Mass, does he get the signing bonus? And I was like, no. And then I was like... And then Gordon has him pinned down with a, uh, I think with it was the, a, It was like a part of the desk. And he's no, like... it was a sword. It was... Because he brought oh, yeah. his own sword. He, he has a sword on him, and he's like, I'm like, oh, wait, we'll see. We're going <laughs> to see. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. I thought it was funny. It just yeah. happened right after, um, right after we asked. But as soon as he goes to do that, he gets shot. Or, no, no, no. He, uh, Gordon gets off, and he's like, all right, uh, you're going to go to jail for a very long time, buddy. And then Black Mask goes to get him, and the captain, who we thought doesn't like Jim... Yeah. Shoots him, and everyone... She was kind of showing signs the week before when yeah. she was staying with Zaz. Zaz came in, yeah. yeah. So she's on his side now. She sees, okay, maybe he isn't He isn't such a... A, a douche. Douche and a loser, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we got Bar Barbara? Barbara? Barbara. Barbara leaving at the end of the episode, which is stupid. I don't care. Yeah, Just... quite frankly, I don't, but... And we didn't get a lot of Del Don Falcone in this episode. No. It was mostly Gordon. Which is fine. And then for... Tonight's, which will be what, uh, two days from now, Harvey Dent is getting introduced. Subtlety, Zach. Uh, subtlety. subtlety, I know. Tonight, which is two days ago. I meant that, whatever. Harvey Dent's going to get introduced. We'll talk about that next week. Yes. Hopefully he's good. Um, but some news, a little bit with that. Uh, apparently Gordon's going to go to Arkham. Yeah, they showed in a trailer. Yeah, Gordon's going to jail. We don't know for he what, though. He needs to. And hopefully they bring in some villains. Yes. More villains. Yeah. Okay. So was Gotham. Calendar Man. Calendar Man. He's my favorite villain, aside from Captain Boomerang. That is uh, sad, if that's true. Dude, Calendar Man, he kills dads on Father's Day. He kills moms on Mother's Day. He kills Santa Clauses on Christmas. That's, that's just it's funny. It's the greatest hero that ever. That is funny. Okay. So that was Gotham. Then we get to... The Flash. We missed... Plastique. It was so... We missed Flash. Oh, they my God. a week. It was so... I'm so glad they, uh, they came back for the week. They're gone in a month, which is gonna suck. But this episode was called Plastique this episode was for great. a good reason. Oh, Plastique. Because they brought in the woman, Plastique. And she was great. Oh, the girl they Love got to the play woman. was yeah. perfect. I was actually looking at um, an old comic online, mm -hmm. and the woman they got to play looked just like her. She was very... But for those that don't know, Plastique is basically a time bomb. And whatever she and touches, she touches turns to a bomb. Yes. And they showed that by uh, the one scene, Barry talks to her and she touches him by accident. And she's like, whatever you're wearing, take it off now. And he runs, and then his, throws his costume, and it explodes. And, and it's kind of a funny moment of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's sitting there, and he's like, uh, <laughs> what? And then she becomes his friend. Then Eiling is like... They introduce Eiling. In yeah, and he's like, all right, give the girl back. <laughs> and he's like, uh, uh, Harrison's like, I don't know what you're talking about. We don't have a girl. <laughs> we, we have we have Caitlin. 
She's like, didn't they, hi. Didn't they have kind of a, a thing with Harrison this week? Harrison and Eiling. Yeah. Yeah, they had a future, a past. Oh, wait, that's at the end of the episode. That's at the end of the episode. We're sorry. bringing that I'm up. I'm sorry. This week is this week was like weird for me. I usually walk them, watch them later towards yeah. the week, but whatever. But um, so that happened, and then uh, Eiling, uh, Plastique went to like the bay basically to trap Eiling, and he was like, "All right, there's nowhere to go," and she did one of these little things with the marbles in her hands, yeah. and she was like, "Maybe not for me." Boo! <laughs> and throws them, and this they is, explode. Yeah. And kills all the men, and then Barry except try, Eiling tries to save. And the, yeah, he's trying to talk to him, and then Eileen pulls out his gun and shoots, shoots her, her, and she dies. And he goes, Caitlin, what's going to happen now? And she's like, well, she's about to explode. Yeah. And he goes... Can I run in water? I? Yeah. That, he's in a lot. Oh, when he ran up the building, too? We forgot about that part. That was a good part. That he's was like, awesome. how fast do I got to go to run up a building? And then he met um, Iris. He oh, yeah. Iris. He, he, and he had to do the face thing he's again? He's basically... And, oh, they had an emotional scene. We'll talk about that after we explain the rest of the episode. But, um... So, um, then he runs on water and he throws plastic in the ocean, which he has to do, and it was a huge nucle nuclear blast, basically, yeah. but nobody died, thankfully, well, except Plastique <laughs> and the soldiers. We will miss you, Plastique. Yes, but then at the end of the episode, um... We get our big reveal. There was, like, it said, like, five years ago? Yeah. And it was Harrison and Eiling talking, and he was like, I, uh, Harrison... <laughs> okay, for everyone else, I don't know where that phone is. I kid you not, I looked in there for the phone, and I can't find it. But anyway, so Harrison and I are talking. <laughs> and, and Harrison's so he, like, Harrison's I'm not like, going to do this do anymore. It. Yeah, we can't we do can't it anymore. Talk, we can't do this to him anymore. And you're like, who is he? Yeah, everyone, not, nobody's sure what he's talking about. So then it cuts to um, Eiling leaving, and then Harrison walks over, and he's like, it's all right, buddy. Nothing's going to happen. He turns to a cage, and it's Gorilla Garage see Garad, before he oh becomes... My oh, my God. Before he comes... Gorilla Garad, basically. He's one of the... Super genius. He's one of uh, Flash's biggest villains yes. in the comic book. That's why I can't wait for So, it. this episode um, had emotional. a lot of emotional moments. Uh, of course, the Barry. plastique whole thing. Yes. And, and I like how Cisco names her in the episode. Because it was like the bomb? Because they're on the field, and he's like... It's like... I, I forget what he says. Yeah, it was her. based off yeah. the bomb. And um, Cisco, yeah, that, that happened. Um, but there was a very sad moment because Barry and Iris... Can't well, for the last couple weeks, Barry and, and Joe have been trying to get her to stop writing the blog about the streak. She finally puts her name on it in this episode, so he. Oh, and then the Flash talks to her. Yeah, we left that out. And so then... he's like, "All right, I gotta go. Go for broke. I gotta go talk to her as the Flash." And then they make the jo the Batman joke, the whole voice change thing. That was really cool, though. He, he sounded like an alien, and yeah, I was but that like, was still really cool. And and jo he talks to Joe in the episode. He's like, "I did this to my voice," and Joe he, starts he cracking his, up, uh, and it's cords. fantastic. I was gonna have, and then Barry's like, "We can't be friends anymore for right now, because you're gonna get yourself in danger if you keep doing this." And then Iris didn't want to talk to her dad. It was very sad, uh -huh. but all in all, another great episode. I love you, Flash. Thank you for coming on TV. Yes, can't <laughs> wait for the next episode with uh, where they're bringing in Girder, aka <laughs> no Colossus. Colossus. What are you talking about? When he came on screen, I was watching the commercial for next week. I was like, "When did?" Uh, uh, Fox give over the rights to DC to give Colossus over. Well, you know how you can tell it's not Colossus. How? Yeah. Uh, Colossus, whenever he changes, it does it in layers. Oh, yeah. This guy's just like... Because Barry punches him in the, uh, in the face. And he breaks his hand. And he breaks his hand. And then, so they... Well, we're not going to talk about... No. We'll talk about that next week. Yeah. But, um, Arrow. Arrow. Guilty. Guilty. Um, that was the name of the episode. For people <laughs> <that> didn't know. <laughs> I don't think you knew. So, last week we found out Roy might have killed Sarah, but that didn't, didn't. go anywhere this week. He didn't. <laughs> he killed a cop. That's yes, the, that's that was the, the huge end. But it was still, he told... Um, but Laurel, Felicity made me feel like, okay, Roy's the killer. Yeah. Throughout the entire episode, she's like... she was going over he the did it. He did it! She was like, uh, everything in here matches up. <laughs> and Because he told uh, Ollie and Laurel. And then Laurel... And then Laurel him. was like, <laughs> I got it! I hate Laurel. I wanted. To, I just wanted to fall off a bridge. They oh, they also released their pictures for Black Canary. Oh, God, she looks. She looks good. Yeah, but I hate her. Wildcat had a big episode this week. Well, she was training with Wildcat this episode, and Wildcat was being sent. And up. Wildcat came, which was awesome. And yep, just bad, like that. Bad choice of words. <laughs> we uh, we finally saw Wildcat, but oh, the reason it was such a Wildcat episode was because there was all these all these bodies that were hanging, and it said guilty underneath them, yeah. written in their blood, which yes. was horrifying. But it and then was... it had one of my favorite arrow moments of the of the year, 
My favorite, you mean? No, no, that's another good moment. No, I'm talking about when him and Roy. Oh, that, we'll save that for yeah, later. But because that that <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forgot about the boxing club. Shut up! Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> I didn't ruin anything. But um, so Ali goes to confront. Ali and Wildcat start fighting, and for every fan, this is like a nerdgasm moment <laughs> because it's Wildcat and uh, the Green Arrow fighting. Yep. And then uh, during the fight, Wildcat does some move and rolls him over, and Ali pulls out an arrow, stabs a boxing glove. And shoots the and boxing knocks glove out, and knocks him out, which was hilarious. And for the fans, this was the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. I I couldn't believe they did that. I, I was so happy. You texted about it. me. You were like, "You got you got to watch the episode and call me because one of the greatest moments in our history happened." And it yes. was great. It was fantastic. Um, and then so it turns out the person that was doing this was Wildcats. It's protege. Yes, yes. It's protege. Just like, protege. It, just like Roy. So Roy goes through some stuff through this episode. Yeah, because while. Well, I can't remember the guy's the kid's name, but he had Roy by the throat, and he was he's like, like he's, "He's gonna give you up." He's gonna abandon you. And this is why I think the Mirakuru is not out of his system, because did you see what happened to him? What he, he his got really eyes angry, got and then he would die, and he like, like he threw him over him or something. But Ali early in the episode was like, "You need to leave. We yeah. can't deal with you right now." And then at the end of the episode, he went Oliver or Roy went up to him and he goes, "Never abandon me." And then Ali's like, "Never." And I was like, "I started tearing." It was it was very upsetting. Uh, yeah. And then he was, um... Team's not getting torn apart, even though Dickel's gonna die by Roy the Roy was season. talking, looking at the costume, and he was like, I'm gonna miss this. And he was like, the kid said I was an Arsenal. And this was another <laughs> huge nerdgasm moment. And Ollie goes, well, And that's what we should call you. And he got I'm his Arsenal like, man, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> And then we find out that he he does a meditation technique when they... They were doing flashbacks, yeah. and they find out... Ollie finds out some stuff about himself from the flashbacks, and now Roy finds out he didn't actually kill Sarah. But he killed a cop. He killed the cop, and he's been holding in the guilty. And Oliver says something to him before it. He's like, it might be worse than what you actually think it is. Mm-hmm. And he, he killed the defensive man. And it was man, worse. And he's like, I need to go. I need to go think for a while yeah. and everything. But then... um at the end... <laughs> oh, God, it was so stupid. I love this part. You I got, not, I'm not you got, uh, Wildcat's um, apprentice, well, ex-apprentice, walking with the cops, and two cops get shot, and he's just standing there like, uh... By arrows. Yes, by, by arrows. arrows. So we're all like, Ollie? No, I thought it was... Malcolm? Al- I thought it was Malcolm or Thea that was gonna do it. So we're like, okay, what's going on here? And then you see him, and he's like, Who, so who's your name? Who are... No, he goes, who, who are, are you? you? And she goes, she pulls the bow, and she goes, I'm Cupid, stupid. And shoots him, <laughs> and it's I was like, "Is Cupid- this? Is this? It, this is what happened if Harley Quinn ever became an archer?" Yeah, that's basically it's it. It's Cupid. And she's next the week, for this it's week. basically she's infatuated, obsessed, basically with Ollie, yep. and uh, Black Canary is not gonna have. Well, I don't know, but also Black Canary, uh, Laurel does something in this episode. She's he offers her the black or the red, and she's like, "Black, of course." And I'm like, "Really, really? That was stupid." <laughs> Whatever. But you don't like Laurel at all. I hate She's her. She's a lot better than she was in season two. I hope she falls off a bridge. <laughs> and season one. I hated her in season one. But, um, so let's go to Constantine. That was, oh, Con- our best episode so far. So emotional. Such oh, a it was sad great. episode. One, in, in 45 minutes, they made me care about a character. Yeah, they more bring, than in this, I've cared about they bring a lot in this characters. guy, Gary, who's an old friend of Constantine. It has uh, to do with the Newcastle incident with, uh, a, yes. Astrid? Astrid. Astrid. Is it Astra? Astral. Astra? Uh, ass. <laughs> ass. Ass. We'll just call it A. A. <laughs> A. A. But, um, so, that was, like, a huge moment with, um, because Sky Gary comes in, and apparently set this demon free, and it's a hunger demon. A hunger demon. That was, like, the coolest fucking part ever. And Where there's this one part, everything. this is one part in the episode when they go to a meat freezer. Oh, Yeah. And- and then uh, Constantine comes in by himself with the uh, the breakable glass jar. That he's and he about tries to... to seal it, and then it the shatters. Lady, the lady's, like, hungry, and she's eating, and then she's got the messed up teeth, and then she starts doing the crab walk. And I'm like, I'm terrified of you. Stay away from me. Yeah. So but... Gary it, uh, actually captured the demon before, brought it to America like an idiot, and unleashed it into the world, and Constantine had to stop it. But we find out that Constantine, Constantine actually needs a human sacrifice. Towards the end of the episode, we found that out, and... Oh, Gary's a drug addict. Yes. We should, he, he's, he's been failing uh, Constantine. Oh, the reason Chaz wasn't in the episode? He had well, to fix the taxi. Okay, they, they left him in the, out of the episode. Yeah. Uh, Pop Midnight wasn't in there either. Yeah, um, but... But um, throughout the episode, he's been wanting to help Constantine so much. And Constantine didn't want anything to do like, it. why don't you let him? why don't you let him help? And then uh, they touch, and... Uh, they find out due that to Zed's powers. Yeah, uh, she basically got all the feelings of withdrawal yes. without any of the highs, 
And Kasi makes that point. He's like, you guys should keep away from each other. Yeah. Stop touching each other. So then, um, towards the end of the episode, they, they're in this theater, and he goes, we need a human vessel. And Gary's like, you And don't Gary's all like, lie. this was your plan the whole time. And he's crying, and, and we're he, crying. And then he was like, why would you... Uh, all I wanted was for you to be proud of me, and he grabs his head and puts his head on him. He's like, I'm so proud of you. And he's like, I've never been more proud of you, and he kisses the top of his head, and that was like, that's what got me. I'm like, Then oh. he drops to his knees, uh, not goes. Constantine, Gary, and then he does a spell, the, the demon goes in him, and as soon as it goes in him, Constantine drops to his knees and holds his friend, and then they take them to their shack. And Zed was like, um, Why'd you do this to him? Why did, why? All he wanted to do was make you proud, and Constantine looked her in the eyes and he was like, I told you when we started, people, people around me die. die. And he's, she's like, he's like, you, you get out now if you need, you need yeah. to. And she stayed, she helped she's him like, inside. What room do you want me to put him in? And then and he the watches him the, basically die. The end of the episode yeah. was the saddest part because he's sitting there and he's holding his friend's hand and his friend's like freaking out on the bed, having like, just because the demon's trying to get out. It was basically it like symbolism for his, his drug habit. Yeah. And the whole drug thing yeah. was going through him. Yeah. And. Uh, He's just, he's sitting there holding his friend's hand, just stone-faced, and then you see, I call him the angel of death, I'm I not think he sure might who be. he is. I think he might be. Because he's shown up when people yeah, die. That's what I, I agree with that theory, that he might be the angel and of death. And he comes over and he sits down next to them. Doesn't say, the, what I loved about that scene is they don't say a word to each exactly. other. Exactly. And he looks, you could see in Because Constantine's every time eye, he shows up, they say something snarky yeah, to one another. You see in Constantine's eye, like, he is going through something right now. Exactly. And it's, it, this whole thing with Astrid has affected him so much. The guy that got to play Constantine, I will say this he is perfect casting oh, yeah. i love matt ryan i think his name is i don't know no that's the guy from the uh, falcons but whatever R something ryan but yeah. he's fantastic as constantine yeah. and he showed so much emotion in this episode he was so conflicted about letting him actually help him and he finally did and he sacrificed so thank you gary great yes. acting by you <laughs> r.i.p he, gary <laughs> he looked like um he looked like if Benedict Cumberbatch and the guy Chris O'Dowd if they had a kid together i don't know i don't know who chris O'Dowd is the funny guy from bridesmaids the cop Oh, okay. Yeah. Him and Benedict Cumberbatch had a kid. Yep. That's that's who they. But they let's made. jump to. Wait, and then next week we get our team up episode. Oh yeah, it's and Papa I can't wait. And Constantine. I'm so excited for that. And now we go to our final episode of the week, the which Walking is Dead. The Walking Dead. Great episode. It was a Carol Darrell episode. <laughs> what Love it, saying that. It was uh, <laughs> much better than the Beth episode. Yeah. Because I don't really care about Beth, but you care about these two characters. You've yes. cared about them for years. But basically, Carol and Darrell have to go. Find this, uh, the cross thing. They're looking the for the, the hospital. They're looking for the hospital, yeah. basically. They don't know that at the time. They're following a car, and then that they, they Beth stop. Is in. And, well, what would you know? The car wouldn't start back up. <laughs> Shocker. So then they're in this college, and there was some symbolism here that brought a tear to my eye. Well, oh, oh, yeah, okay. And there's a woman, and she's zombie, and she's hitting the glass, and Carol's like, er, and then... They're sitting there and they're like, oh. We have, oh. To go, we have to care of this. And then a little girl comes up, zombie, and she's hitting the glass. And it was symbolism for the huge Walking Dead fans of Carol and Sophia. Yeah. So Daryl's like, I'll he's take, like, no, he was, no, he said, we don't have to do yeah, this. Yeah, we don't have to do this. I'm right, you're right. I'm sorry. And so they left. And then in the morning, uh, you see Daryl burning bodies and it's them. Carol starts crying, but she starts smiling too. Yeah. She knows. She's like, he helped help me through. Yeah. So it was, it was a very sweet moment. But and then throughout the episode, she's been, she's been like telling him, you're more of a man than you were before. And somebody said this to me online. They were like, um, when Daryl first came in, he for the first couple seasons, he was more like a boy. Yeah. Like, he, he didn't care about getting... He didn't care about anyone like, except himself like and Merle. Like, Merle was more of the guy that, like, the misogynistic pig and everything that wanted to get laid all the time. Yeah. He was just, like, a little kid that wants to just be involved with everything. And I thought that was sweet. They're, those two characters are great. And then you get their bi the big... Um, not a big scene in the uh, with the ta the uh, truck. Oh yeah. yes, where they're in the uh, they're in the van and they're they surrounded by zombies and they don't know what to do. So they sit in the front seat, which this is the, <laughs> this confused me so much and kind of pissed me off a little bit mm -hmm. because they get in the front seat with all the zombies in the back and Daryl like all right seatbelt <laughs> she seatbelts and I'm sitting there and me and Zach are watching this together. Yeah. And I looked at Zach and I went, are they gonna fall off the bridge? Yeah, I was like immediately I saw it, I was like they're gonna go off the edge. And no. and then you're like, I was like, the walkers are going to fall. You're like, what? And then no, they I land. said that. Oh, you did. I was like, what? And they landed, and then all you see is one walker But you down. hear one walker, it, it you see it hit the front, and then you just hear... Doom, 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 doom. And before but, that happened, we skipped a little bit. 
They find Noah. They meet Noah up. Oh yeah, Noah yeah. steals her stuff. Noah, Noah's like, get back. He's like, you'll you'll be able to hang. But he was a dick in this episode because the, there were tents. There were zombies a, trapped in them. What I didn't know is the hospital people actually killed them in their sleeping bags. Oh really? If you look, they have gunshot wounds. Oh, and they didn't die by walker bites. Oh. So they just became walkers. Hmm. I don't know that. And uh, yeah, uh, Noah's like, but Noah's you guys can stuff, f- fend for yourself. And he lets out the, uh, the he sleeping bags. He rips open bags. three tents full of zombies. And Daryl's like, you dick. And then da- uh, Carol's about to shoot him. She's got a handgun. And Daryl's like, no, no, don't do it. Well, she's about to shoot him in the leg. And he's they, they argue about that. That's when the car scene happens. They f- meet up with Noah. And Daryl's is my favorite thing of the episode. Daryl doesn't want to save him. The... He, well, before he's he was the, trying to set up a book thing, bookcase, yeah. Daryl runs over, Darryl, tackles him, and then the bookcase falls on him, and, and he grabs all of his stuff. And he's there's, there's a zombie at the door, and it's trying to come in. And Daryl's like, he's he switched over from the side before. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna, you, yeah, you're he fine. He picks up a thing of cigarettes, puts it in his mouth, and starts walking and away. He's like, and Carol's do fine. like, Carol's like, we have to do this. And then Carol switched up him. her motos. So and then everything. Carol like goes to lift it herself, and she couldn't. And then Darryl the shoots. zombie falls on it. And you just see an arrow go right into its head. And <laughs> I was like, Ollie's here. Wait, no, the wrong show. No, okay. Cupid? <laughs> so yeah, Daryl saves them. They get together. And then they're going outside of the building. And then they, well, they find out that no one knows Beth. Yeah. So then he's like, well, I know how to get there. We'll go save them. And then this, this is actually made me laugh. And I felt bad because I knew this was coming and you didn't. I thought they were, that Dar- uh, Ka- uh, Carol was faking it getting into the hospital. I thought, okay. They know yes. where he is. Noah obviously is going to help him get yeah. in there. So and I'm like, he's, she's not Darryl, her. She's faking it. Well, what got me a little confused was Carol was just like, all right, let's go to the front door. <laughs> and like, just leave. Oh, mind you, this is all back in Atlanta. They're still in Atlanta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said that a couple of episodes ago. Never left. Never left Atlanta, nope. which I thought was funny. But, um, but oh no, well, uh, Abraham and his group got out of Atlanta. Yeah. They're heading their way towards D.C. So um, then Carol <laughs> opens the door and runs out in the street. And gets hit by a car. And she gets hit by a car. What is the chance of that? <laughs> you have a better chance of getting bit by a walker than getting hit by, by a car. car in zombie apocalypse. Yeah. So that's setting up for how she's in the hospital. And how Rick and the group are going to tear that shit up. <laughs> and before we do our... Uh... Okay, our end, we need a little interruption. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Great episode. Right. So, uh, yes, great, great episode. episode. But thank you for watching. Uh, mm-hmm. We we love you guys. You're you're very loyal fans. <laughs> we'll be back you're Friday. All pretty. Yeah, we'll be back Friday with another Except episode. You Sunset Overdrive. Uh, Hope you guys yes. enjoy that. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. And we'll be back next week for another comic book mania. Uh, yes. So and like next, yeah. this video, yeah. like our other videos. Comment. We, we have a lot of videos. Go watch them. They yeah. are really stupid. Do it. Um, we actually have some projects pl- uh, planned for you guys. Yes. Over the next do. couple months. So, so look for that. Um, subscribe. Yes. Don't tell your friends. Did you say don't tell your friends? I did. I did. No. Tell, tell your, your friends. friends. Tell them all. Don't listen to this guy. No, it was reverse. Like, don't tell your friends. No, that's that's still not Jedi mind tricks. Do you have to say what you want them to do? Oh yeah. Now they're not gonna tell, <laughs> tell friends. your friends. Tell your friends. I'm not a certified Jedi. He is. So yeah. you will tell your friends. <laughs> we will tell our friends. Wow, it worked. It worked. It worked. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll uh, be back next week. Yeah. So love you. Yep. Always. Kiss, kiss. Just a polite. Thank you.